crazy thing, right? A lot of people still friends with Brian after you spoke and said stuff to her. If I didn't invite her over, I would have never seen her until New Year's Eve. I'm not jealous or nothing. I was just confused by it. Like, Did you see what I downloaded? My gun, no, it's man down. Me, I did talk a detail. I wear the crown, no competition. Did you see what I downloaded? My gun, no, it's man down. Me, I did talk a detail. I wear the crown, no competition. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new or just returning, I go by Ki or Kiki. And in today's video, I'll be doing a story time. Yes, I said it. A story time. I haven't done one in like forever. So I thought I might as well go do one today and post it up. So the story time is going to be just a disclaimer before I did put this out there. Um, nothing negative about this. Like, yes, everybody has learned a lesson. And I hope that you guys can learn a lesson too. Hence why I'm doing this story time. So... We're just going to hop right into it. So this story time is going to be about why I'm not friends with some of my friends anymore. And no hate, no bash, nothing. This is just the story time and what happened. So we're just going to hop right into the story time. So I want to say, well, I was going to start 2019. So let's back up a little bit. So, um... Well, actually, no, we're not even going to back up because I'm actually going to do a part one, part two, maybe a part three, you don't know. And so I'll t back it up in like part two a little bit. So, September 2019, by the way, I'm actually looking at my computer right here. It's got like my receipts right here, or dates. So, September 5th, I had moved into school in Miami. We were all so happy and whatnot, which is my birthday, by the way. So I was so tired when I did that, I was just like, I don't know when you want to do anything. So, moving forward, October 8th. This is all 2019. I'll tell you when 2020 pops up, then it makes sense. So, we did like a WhatsApp call. I'll probably put something on the screen here to show you because I do have pictures, videos, and stuff. Yeah. So, we did like a WhatsApp call because I was really missing my friends. And I'm like, bro. I miss my friends like I want to be able to call them hang on with them do stuff whatnot but obviously I couldn't say so that's when I did like a whatsapp call and it was all of us so then in December 2019 I had called up I'm gonna think of names buddy B because I don't want to be exposing people's names so um we're going to call her Katie, just because. So, I had called, well, previously before that, Katie's mama was like, yeah. Well, she didn't say yeah. But she was just like, oh, we're going to be going out there to Florida. Like, maybe you could come surprise her and whatnot. So, I was just dealing with school and whatnot. And I just did not really have the funds to go over there. So... I was just like, it is what it is. And I wasn't going to ask my people for that because they're already spending money for school. So, I ended up, sorry, something was just bothering me on my foot. So, I ended up then fast forward to December. I ended up um, calling Kata's, at the time, boyfriend and her mama. And I'm like, yo, this would be a good idea, like, for me to surprise Katie, girl. I'm going to slip up as her name. Oh. But I ended up, um, going home on the 20th, and I missed my flight. So I was supposed to get a direct flight from Miami to Bermuda, and I missed it. And I was actually in the airport crying. I'll put up on the screen somewhere the exact video. Like... It'll pop up somewhere. Or if it does not pop up, it'll be like the little tail bothering, something like that. If not, it'll be down below. One of, like one of these three, because I'm too lazy to like do those little pop up things or whatnot. If I remember to do that throughout this whole video. So, um, I'm like, damn. I missed my flight. Like, I don't even get to surprise Katie. Because what we were going to do was come back home, surprise Katie, and then she was going to get dressed because we were going to go to the welcome back college party that was happening 
Uh, and all you need is your ID, your color ID to get in. So I was like, bad. Like we're gonna have some point, you know, clubbing, whatever. And um, that didn't even happen because I missed my flight. Like I was actually crying, and I blamed the Uber driver because why? Like first of all, the Uber driver was taking somebody else. Mind you, it was my fault. But the Uber driver was taking somebody else to American Airlines Arena. Couldn't even find it. So he, if he would have been there on time and got to the place in like one shot then I would have made it to the airport on time and got him so then I ended up taking a flight thanks to my dad to Philadelphia then to Bermuda and then I surprised her cause it was like what I was telling her was that I missed my flight which I ended up really missing my flight and then surprised her and then I went home so then on when was it the day before New Year's Eve, I had, we're gonna call, we're gonna call this person Brian, even though it's not a girl, just exclaimer, Brian is not, I mean, Brian is not a boy, it's a girl, so, I'm sorry, I had to put this down in the notes, because if I don't, I'm gonna be saying these people's names. So, Brian is a girl in the story. Just to let you know, disclaimer, Brian is a girl. And I have to say that a couple times, some people are going to forget that. So, um, the day before New Year's Eve, Brian had slept over my house. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I invited her over. Now, if I didn't invite her over, I would have never seen her until New Year's Eve. Because, mind you, I've been back since... I've been back since the 21st and oh put well what I was about to say sorry I got distracted because somebody's watching a movie and I can hear it but um I was about to say something that was irrelevant didn't have to get to the story but like I said I'm, I will be doing a part two possibly a part three don't know so basically Brian has stopped over my house I was like yeah then we could go together to um Tank's house. Um. Sorry. Like I said, I'm putting everybody's names down in here. Folks' names. So. We. She had spent the night at my house. And I was like, yeah, this is like fun. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. So. That's when. Um. Well, at least I thought I was having fun. Put it that way. And I'm ex. I might explain that in this part or the second part. I'm not too sure right now. So then I ended up having fun on New Year's Eve, blah blah blah, all that stuff. Videos and pictures will be up if I have any. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking directly at you. So that's when we went over to Tank's house, slapped over New Year's Eve, have fun, we happy New Year. 2020. So I'm still at. I'm still at Tink's house. And then fast forward, I ended up going to school. Back to school. Fast forward even some more. And I'm fast forwarding because I'm just giving you the main important parts of this whole story. I'm not trying to give you everything because not everything needs to be explained. So, March 2020, I ended up going t on the 22nd to Orlando, Corona, or that. You know why. Not gonna explain that. So then, May 2020, on the 14th, I flew to Atlanta, stayed overnight, and then I flew to Bermuda. No, I have a, gotta go get my phone, actually. And the reason being is because I have some stuff that's written here that says, look at your memories on Snapchat on this day. It's written here that says, Look at your memories on Snapchat on this day. So, like I said, I'll put everything up on the screen here so you can see. Let me come back. Let me go get my phone. A few moments later. So, this is July 2019. Oh, I've got something mixed up. Oh, it's probably meant to say 2020. 2020, actually. My apologies. So... July 2020 because I was just typing this and didn't even read read over it 
Okay, so I am back. I, I had to change my location because of where I the plug behind me doesn't work. And I need to charge my camera to charge, obviously. And bring that a little closer. I mean that. Hmm? Where's my camera now? A little closer. Oh, yeah. then person close. So, let me read you what to say. So, I had posted something on July 2020. Let me read you what it says. So it says here, it's crazy how you can have a batch friend for so long and find out the truth follows later. But it's okay, not everything and everybody is meant for you. God shows you that eventually. So I'll probably like put it on the screen. But I keep saying that, but you know, let you. Know. So then, I had everybody over my house on the 30th because we have cop match. I'm not really trying to ask me what cop match is. Don't really feel like it. But I'm probably after. Two day holiday, you play a game called cricket. It's basically to celebrate the emancipation of slavery. Short version. I'm not getting into detail. And then I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I'm just trying not to get into detail. We're at this man that whole thing. But you could just search it up yourself for me to cop match. You can look up some more information. So then. Um, August 20th, 20th, ooh. so in between the 30th and the 2nd of August, July 30th and the 2nd of August, like, I kind of had arguments with people because I was just like, why am I seeing you go out all so often and you haven't invited me, you haven't done anything, I've even asked people like to hang out and do stuff and whatnot, and it's just like, mind you, I didn't really hang out with Tank that much because it felt, I felt awkward, like, just me and him hanging out because I didn't really have guy friends and it, I was more trying to hang out with um and she was just like going out to parties doing stuff I'm not really going to get into details of that because that's not for me to share but yeah I'm going to just leave it at that so then um I was like so Tank had matched me and was like, are you coming to my party or not? Are you coming to my party or not? And I wasn't too sure because I just was not cool with people that were there or going there. Why is my phone case breaking? I have to show you guys this. I know this is irrelevant, but my phone case is like really breaking. I have to like cover some people's faces because I'm not finding them doing there, but look at this. Like, I don't understand. But, if, this is not smart to video, Jess. Going to make it up lit for the reason. So, back to what I was saying, that I ended up going to Tank's birthday party and Brian had picked me up. And then, fast forward, we were planning on doing a movie night. Now, it was my idea, but I didn't want to do it at my house because I have people that live. Sorry. I'm trying to get this thing to um pick me up. There we go. So. So sorry if I keep doing that. I'm trying to get this thing to pick me up. There we go. Um. So. We, I, it was my idea to do a movie night. And I didn't want to do it at my house. Because I had people that lived downstairs. And I didn't want to use that yard and whatnot. And get in the way. All of that. So. Um, Brian was like. Oh we could do it at her house. I was like cool. So. Then it ended up being a gunnery party, which I was confused. Now, um, oh, another disclaimer. This is like my last time talking about this too. Like, my one story time last time. So I'm probably going to make three parts or two parts and then that's it. We ain't talking about this app again. And it's El Drama. I have no hate towards anybody in the story. None whatsoever. So, I ended up, I ended up, um, We ended up doing it at Brian's house. And then it ended up turning into a good away party for Brian. I'm like, why does she need another good away party when she already had one? Now, I'm not jealous or nothing. I was just confused by it. Like, and then she says to us, everybody that's sleeping over, make sure you bring an item for breakfast so that we can make breakfast. 
I didn't bring anything because I did not feel the need to bring something. Like, she was like, eh, my mom can't afford getting us breakfast, stuff like that, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, I'm like, what's the point of doing the movie thing? Because she had, her mom had to pay for the movie screen thing, whatever. And I'm like, why am I going to your house as a guest and you don't have stuff for me to eat? Because I will always provide for my guests that come over, trust and believe. So, Tank was there, Katie was there. Um, I'm going to call this guy Tolly, just for the story. I'm going to call him Tall Glass. Tall Glass is there. Um, who else was there? Um, Nikki was there. I'm going to call her Nikki for the story. Nikki was there. Um, well, when I got there, like, it was already drama there already, like. Because Brian was like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I'm like, oh, we get that you're tired, we get it. You do not have to keep telling them this. How's this? So then I was like, where is my friend Katie too? Because that's, that's like really all I wanted. Ka Katie came to my rescue. And I was like always just around her. Because I just was not feeling the vibe. Like Brian was complaining. And... Some of Brian's friends were complaining. I'm like, uh, we got there in the drama already. Like, I'm just not here for it. So then, we ended up sleeping over, making breakfast or whatever. She had in the house, but we had no breakfast. So, some people spoke up and spoke there. It's a crazy thing, right? A lot of people still friends with Brian out there. You spoke and said stuff there. Like, if you're irritated with her, then stop being friends with her. Just, that's just how I feel. Like, straight up. You could complain all you want about what Brian does. Brian says this, Brian does that. But at the end of the day, like, you're always going to sit there and still be friends with her. And continuously still have the same thing happen over and over. But it's okay. It's cool. But it has nothing to do with me anyways, because that's the little stuff. So, then on the 13th, I went and got surgery, my teeth taken out. And the only person that ha the only three people that hit me up was Kizzy. I'm gonna call her Kizzy. It was Kizzy, um, I'm gonna call this person Ace and Katie. Those were the only three that hit me up. Outside of 100 members. But friend wise, those were the only three that hit me up. And it's like, why would you want me to hit you up and make sure you're alright, but you're not doing the same for me? So, then I ended up getting back to school, so I didn't my birthday all by myself. And only, out of my friends, Kizzy hit me up and told me happy birthday. Ace hit me up, told me happy birthday. I think Tink did too. And so did Katie. But like, of course, Brian didn't. Or whatever. But like, I go ahead and say happy birthday to you. So then, I ended up coming back. Oh, so I came back for December. And literally, like, nobody talked to me except for Katie, Ace, Kizzy. Kizzy wasn't really part of the group, but I'm just throwing her story. Katie, Ace, Kizzy. Tank used to hit me up here and there, but only because he, he wanted something or he had a question. Or he wants to throw a party. Outside of that, Tank didn't hit me up. And Tank stopped talking to me around that time. Because apparently I was in charge of everything, whatnot. And I showed up to him. I'm like, if you want to be in charge of stuff, then come up with ideas. He's like, oh, I want you to be near and give again at my house. I'm like, okay. Which, I, I didn't even go to that. And I don't even think Katie went to that either. Because I ended up going to Serena's house. So, yeah. I didn't hang with anybody. I wasn't mad about it. Or nothing like that. Like, the only people that I told him it was Kizzy, Ace, and Katie. That was just about it. But, like I said, it's just part one. So, stay tuned for part two. Or whatever. Did you see what I downloaded? My gun, no, it's man down. Me, I did talk a deal.